Now rule number three now. Again inside the room. Remember the rule says we must section by using 45 degrees. Like I said, it is not only the 45 degrees which can be used, but in a classroom situation, make use of 45 degrees. You can use it elsewhere. Uh, 30 degrees, 60 degrees is okay. But in a classroom situation, let's make sure we are going to use that. Uh, so now we are going to use 45 degrees to section our drawing. So unfortunately, right now here I don't have the 45 degrees, but I will just show you since we are doing it freehand for you to understand it when you are going to use this drawing instrument. Now this is how I am going to section my drawing now. To section your drawing, it is up to you. The lines will slide to the left or you will slide to the to the right. What is important is each line they must be equally spaced. And the type of the pencil which is going to be used to draw the sectioning, you are going to use a 0.3 millimeter plus pencil fade. It must be visible. Not as a construction line, but as a fade line 0.3. That is line type B pencil which we are going to use here. Now let's section our drawing together. That is how you are going to section, when you talk about the sectioning, we are referring to lines, among other things, they must be like this, they must be like this, the section, the section, the section, and the section, you are through. And we draw again another one here, and another one is there. Right. Now, this is exactly now a full sectional front view on action plane DD. Now, this view, as you see it, let's compare it with this view. When you compare them, do you notice the difference? The answer is yes, there is a difference. Uh, but even if there is a difference, what we must know is that both of them, they are the same front view. The difference is this view in particular. This is the machine outside. Now this it is the machine inside. So now we can see directly inside the machine or this machine it is going to look like this once you can see it inside as you cut through that piece. And of course these lines, if you can take a closer look and think deeper, they represent something. If you can take in particular a wood, you make use of a head saw, you cut that head wood, you will see there will be some marks on that wood. So that is exactly the same marks here. Normally we use to call them uh, what we call the tip of the hexagon. So that is exactly the same thing. So that is how you are going to use this simple rules to section your points. So I think now everybody it is clear the reasons why we are sectioning the drawings like this it is because of the rules and so on. Maybe somebody may ask again, or I can see in your drawing there is sectioning, yes, but there are some areas where there is no sectioning. What is the reason? If maybe for the laptop, the answer to that person, it is like here, as you can see, there is no section. Here, there is no section it is because it is inside the hole. Inside the hole is empty. When you cut, there is nothing to cut there. That is why there is no section. That is one reason. And again here, it is a hole, you can see the hole is start from here and the depth of the hole it is from there up until here and there is no section. It is simply because it is empty there, it is a hole, when you cut there is nothing to cut there. 
So that is why now here it is empty as it is. Now again here people, there is no section, but this area there, it is not because it is a hole. There is no hole here. It is simply because it is simply because it is the support. Why we are not sectioning the support when we cut it like this? Of course, that is the rules of sectioning. Remember, I said you need to know only three, but they are not limited to three, they are many. When you go further with the rules, it clearly indicates to us what. Once you cut a support like this, as this is a support, once you cut it like this, that area of the support, as you are cutting, you are not going to section. That is why here because there is no sectioning and it is not a hole simply because it is a, a support. So I think now that it covers the topic for us today. So let's go. Uh, we have next time, then we will now tackle the activities or maybe use better examples to give blood to some of you. So this in a nutshell, this is how we are going to perform the sectional drawing. Thank you for coming today.